Hey kids, welcome to our little Grizzo TV. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a kind and beautiful princess named Snow White. She had skin as white as snow, lips as red as roses, and hair as black as ebony. Her mother, the queen, loved her dearly, but sadly she passed away when Snow White was very young. Soon the king remarried and the new queen became Snow White's stepmother. This new queen was beautiful, but she was also very vain and cruel. She had a magical mirror that she would often ask, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And each time the mirror would reply, You, my queen, are the fairest of all. The queen would smile proudly, knowing that no one in the kingdom was as beautiful as her. As Snow White grew older, she became more and more beautiful. One day, when the queen asked her mirror the same question, the mirror answered, You, my queen, are fair. It's true, but Snow White is even fairer than you. The queen was furious. She was so jealous of Snow White's beauty that she couldn't stand the thought of anyone being more beautiful than her. In her anger, the queen ordered one of her huntsmen to take Snow White into the forest and get rid of her. The queen wanted Snow White gone forever. The poor huntsman, however, had a kind heart. And when he took Snow White deep into the forest, he couldn't bring himself to hurt her. Instead, he told Snow White to run away and never return to the castle. Snow White was scared, but she ran into the forest. She wandered through the woods, unsure of where to go. Finally, she came upon a little cottage hidden deep in the forest. The door was open, so Snow White went inside. Everything in the cottage was small, from the chairs to the beds, as though it was made for children. But the cottage was empty. Snow White was tired and hungry, so she decided to rest for a while. She saw seven tiny beds all lined up. She laid down on one of the beds and fell asleep. As night fell, the seven dwarfs who lived in the cottage returned home. They had been working all day in the mines, digging for diamonds and gems. When they entered their house, they were surprised to find Snow White asleep in their beds. Who is this girl? one of the dwarfs asked. She looks so peaceful, said another. When Snow White woke up, she was startled to see the dwarfs gathered around her. But they were kind and introduced themselves. Grumpy, happy, sleepy, sneezy, bashful, dock and dopey. Snow White told them her sad story and the dwarfs felt sorry for her. They invited her to stay with them, promising to protect her from the wicked queen. For many days, Snow White lived happily with the dwarfs. She helped them clean their little cottage and cooked them delicious meals. In return, they made her feel safe and cared for. For a while, Snow White was happy living with her new friends. Back at the castle, the Queen was sure that Snow White was gone forever. But one day, when she asked her mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The mirror replied, You, my Queen, are fair. It's true. But Snow White, beyond the mountains with the seven dwarfs, is still a thousand times more beautiful than you. The Queen was furious. She realized that Snow White was still alive, and she decided to take matters into her own hands. She disguised herself as an old woman and made a poisoned apple. She went to the cottage where Snow White lived. When she arrived at the dwarf's cottage, as the dwarfs were at work in the mines, Snow White, who was alone inside the cottage, heard the old woman and saw the shiny red apple. The queen handed her the poisoned apple. Take a bite. It's the juiciest apple you'll ever taste. It looked delicious, and she did not know who the old woman really was. Snow White took a bite, and as soon as she did, she fell to the ground, unconscious. The queen laughed and hurried away, thinking she had won. When the dwarfs returned home, they were heartbroken to find Snow White lying on the floor, lifeless. They tried everything to wake her up, but nothing worked. 
they were so sad that they made a special glass coffin for her and placed it in the forest so they could always watch over her. One day, a prince from a nearby kingdom was passing through the forest. He saw the glass coffin and Snow White inside it. He was struck by her beauty and felt deep sorrow that such a lovely girl had fallen into a deep sleep. The prince leaned down and gently kissed Snow White on the forehead. At that moment, the spell was broken. Snow White opened her eyes and smiled at the prince, for she was alive once again. The dwarfs were overjoyed to see their beloved Snow White awake and happy. The prince asked Snow White to come with him to his kingdom. Will you come with me and be my princess? Snow White smiled. Yes, I will. And she agreed. The dwarfs waved goodbye as Snow White and the prince rode off to his castle, where they were soon married in a grand celebration. As for the wicked queen, when she asked her mirror once again, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The mirror replied, You, my queen, are fair. It's true. But the new queen, Snow White, is a thousand times more beautiful than you. The queen was so angry that she ran away, never to be seen again in the kingdom. Snow White and her prince lived happily ever after, while the seven dwarfs remained her dear friends, visiting her whenever they could, and they all lived in peace and joy. And so the story of Snow White ends with the reminder that kindness, love and friendship always triumph over jealousy and cruelty.